do all what it needs to do. Hey, Don, how's it going? Do, 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 loading screen. Alrighty. Right, I talked to everyone. Galaxy. Wow. Uh, eh? <laughs> nice. How's work going for you today? Super slow. I can respect that. Oh, man. Got so many places to explore, but we're gonna... We're gonna go to where we need to go. Uh, here? I think <laughs> is where I need to go. It's the first time I've gone f flying in a bit. We're space shipping. Ah, familiar territory. The Nexus has been here for months. Still not enough time to survey it all. I mean, that's. I'm picking up something. That was not vague at all. I'm picking up something. Dang it. I am doing well. It, it feels weird to be streaming this early, but you know what? I will adjust because <laughs> with the uh, holidays approaching, uh, work's got me uh, going in super duper early. So this is basically uh, my shindiggy now. Yes, I do wish to disembark. Which, I mean, it's not horrible. At least I get to still get some uh, get some gaming in. It's just very different. <laughs> it's not too bad. See, the tricky part for me now is uh, I go to, I wake up at like midnight to start heading to work. <laughs> so, <laughs> for else is kind of like morning, waking up, give or take, depending on where you are in the world. Pathfinder, and... is it true? Ooh. We're settling Eos. We've thought that before. But Eos is different now, right? Pathfinder. All right, settle down. Give him space. Lieutenant Syax, Kendros's aide. They all wanted to see you. Real hope again. It's been a while. But, like I was saying, for most people, it's always hilarious when I get home and people are getting up, starting to make their breakfast, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I've been up for a couple hours. Relax, Lieutenant. If there was ever a day to pop some champagne. Certainly. The initiative's finally back on track. Professor Herrick, right? What you achieved with that remnant vault is unprecedented, Pathfinder. Impossible. But with new scientific talent waking up, we'll unravel those mysteries. The whole Nexus will benefit. We've taken some hard knocks, but this proves we'll always get up again. Always. Well, what are you waiting for? There's a new world out there. Thank you, Ryder. You're welcome, world. Okie dokie. I've got a few things to do here. Um, what I need is Okay, we're going to start clearing out some side quests here. Now that we figured out that he didn't kill him, but he wanted to kill him. Kind of changes things. So this should be an interesting <laughs> confrontation. I know you're innocent, but you wanted to not be innocent. Here's <laughs> how this is gonna go. I hear you went down to Eos. Did you find anything to help my case? Yes and no. Are you lie? Uh, you lied to me. You're a liar. The Chief's Omni-Tool recorded you over the body admitting to killing him. What? 
Wait, that's not... What are you trying to pull? Sam, playback. Sorry, old friend. Had to do it. I'm not dying on this rock. Well, shit. Guess my fate is sealed. Except that your shot missed. A cat blast to the back killed Reynolds. Are you... Are you serious? I'm innocent? What a stroke of luck. No freaking kidding. The conviction will have to be overturned. The sentence thrown out. Uh. I'm going to Tam, and I might have a different opinion. You did try to cover it all up. Look, I'm sorry I lied, but if my shot missed, I'm innocent. Plain and simple. Mm. We'll see about that. <laughs> see? The... I'm innocent, but not innocent. I recommend them. They're they're good games. I'm not sure about this one, but I did like the Commander Shepard series one to three. Hello, Director Tan is expecting you. Last time I was here, this was a storage closet. Pathfinder Hall just needed a Pathfinder to open. We're still getting the common barrier ready. Hydroponics is only at partial capacity. Not good enough. We don't have enough people. My workers need a break, Tan. I sympathize, but not until our survival is no longer at risk. Now please excuse me while I meet with our Pathfinder. Hey, Ryder. Addison told me about the outpost. You're the hero of the hour. I guess this is one bet that paid off. Point taken. Always revel in your victories. That's why I'm standing here. Oh, I never doubted you. It was the others. They don't share our vision, Ryder. Of a prosperous future in Andromeda. Hmm. I suppose we agree on that much. I knew that given a chance, your talents would emerge. Deciphering the vault, alien terraforming. It's not how we imagined all this, but a good Pathfinder improvises. And a great one hangs it on the wall. Oh, look at that. It's our shining Yours achievement. Are the first trophies to grace Pathfinder Hall. You're a symbol now, Ryder. A reason for people to believe. It wouldn't have been possible without my crew. They're a talented bunch. But you're their beacon. Careful. You'll end up adopting you, Ryder. Ah, my staff. Colleagues, you wouldn't be looking to cut us out, would you, Tan? I remind you, I am the director of the initiative. Acting director. The director's had a rough time, stepping into a job he didn't ask for. I sympathize. Let's give him a chance. As I've said all along, the Pathfinder and I are of one mind. I have concerns about your decision on Eagles Rider. An outpost full of scientists won't do as much good if the Ket attack. But it will help support the Nexus. Improved research could help feed our people. And we could argue about it all day long, as we always do. The decision was made. Now we move on. What is your plan for moving on, Ryder? We have a lead on the terraforming network. I need to take the Tempest deeper into the sector to investigate. If the other Golden Worlds are where they should be, this could get us closer to them. Careful. The Ked are scouring the cluster for remnant technology. You'll end up in a fight, for sure. You might also run into exiles. They didn't leave the Nexus on good terms. And we still need more outposts. They're important to expanding the station. Though with Ark still missing, this could be a chance for Ryder to search for them. Yes, I think that's best. You have my permission. <laughs> Thank you, Director. I'll get on it. May you light the torch that finds the path. Pathfinder. Ugh. Why'd you say right. like that? Pathfinder. Ryder, this is Harry, back on the Ark. Go ahead. We may have found a way to talk to your sister, sort of. Drop by when you can. Hyperion Medbay. Will do. Pathfinder, we are to contact Director Addison as soon as possible. Right. She had something that could help with our job. The whole mood of the Nexus has changed since Eos. You really can feel it. But yeah, people have Outpost, stuff to do. A Pathfinder's help, 
people waking up, it's a fresh start. Can't relax yet. The initiative still has a lot of promises to keep. And that's on us. But it's damn good to know we're on the right track. Lay down one, one spot. Everybody's just getting crazy with it. Turn to the Andromeda Initiative, Historical Records Council. All dates are in common era. First is deep space mission. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Mission to Jupiter system, eh? Hmm. I mean, they're very interesting games just for the dialogue alone. I find this one's more actiony based, so we're seeing how this one goes. Ryder, you're off to a promising start. I meant what I said. You are a symbol now of hope that things will get better. Though I worry about this terraforming network. What do we really know about it? It's like nothing we've ever seen. It's clear somebody had big plans for this cluster. But who? Not sure yet, but at least we're on the trail. Did you have some other business? Yes. Director, I checked out that murder. Nilkin didn't do it, but there's proof that he meant to. This is unfortunate. We're trying to give the people a sense of stability, leadership they think they can count on. And we're setting precedent for justice here in Andromeda. Now this, a convicted murderer who didn't commit the murder. I hear you. It sucks when things aren't black and white. Are they ever? <sighs> If we suppress the evidence and uphold the conviction, we're banishing a man for a crime he technically didn't commit. If we throw the conviction out, we're freeing a man who tried to take matters into his own hands, then covered it up. Your investigation complicated this. You should take responsibility for the outcome. Do we still exile him for murder? Oh. <laughs> Dang it, Gabe. Uh, I mean, you could still hit him for a crime, just not the crime of murder, but the crime of, you know, attempted. Uh, <laughs> hmm. We can't exile him for murder, so I guess release him. It was crazy down there, life and death, but his shot didn't kill Reynolds. We have to let him go. You're a bottom line type of person. I hope we don't regret it. Don't say it like All that. All right, so be it. He will do community service for his role in the chaos, but he's a free man. Well, at least we'll have the sordid business behind us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Actually, wait, hold on. Uh, I'm going to change one of our controls here. I don't know if... I'm looking for... Oh, no, there is a click middle mouse button. What does it do? Oh, it's evade, right? Dang. Never mind. We'll get this one done because they're still on the nexus. Yep. Hello, teammate. Ryder, isn't it? Kerry Tavessa, freelance fit maker. This is Hakeem, my producer. I could use your help. What are you looking for? Director Towns asked for an uplifting documentary on the initiative. Translation, paint rainbows over our problems. But our problems are history. People deserve the truth, not propaganda. Hmm. It takes integrity to record the truth and nothing but. Well, I do my best. And you could help me out. The heart of my documentary will be an interview series. I was hoping you'd take part. I want the dirt and blood of our story, not the convenient fairy tale Town's looking for. Interested? You don't mind treading on the initiative director's toes? What would he do? Pool funding we don't have. Wait. I'm game if you are. Ha! <laughs> sure. I'll take part. Okay. 
Interview away. Let's start at home. 14 months and the Nexus still isn't finished. Arcs are missing, we have people in exile. By any standard, this wasn't the plan. Our leadership describes these as anticipated issues. Would you agree? Uh, I mean, it's normal. All expeditions have to deal with supplies, enemies, or hell, just getting lost. We'll deal with all of them. We just need time. Tan will love that. But if that's your take, that's what goes in. Bandwidth means I'm transmitting in short bursts, so that's all for now. But you can bet I'll have more questions later. You were great. I'll get to work editing. What do you mean editing? Are you going to make me sound stupid? I mean, I feel like that was a pretty generic response that, hey, you know, stuff happens. <laughs> it's not our fault that everything hit the fan. I mean, everybody got a little antsy, but can't, can't fix that. Everybody was just, just a little impatient. Uh oh. You have a quest from the looks of it. What's the trouble? I've got power shortages throughout the station. I can't for the life of me find the cores. Oh, whoa, you you're the pathfinder. Hey, sorry, please ignore me. You've got way more important things to do. I am never too busy for a side quest. Power to the Nexus is pretty important. I'm happy to help. That that's great, because I'm at a loss. There are obvious short circuits cropping up all over the place. A Pathfinder's eye might reveal something. There's a power short here. We could scan the area. I mean... Hold on. Let me, uh, change my quest. I do need to pick that out. Uh, additional tasks. It's got to be in here. Uh, ooh. There it is. Hello. Does anyone want to talk with me? I will scan in just a second. Hello, Pathfinder. A moment. A quest? What can I do for you, Doctor? I have a math problem. Some vital equations that only a mind like Sam's could solve. They concern strange transmission patterns in the scourge. Perhaps random noise. Perhaps not. Sam likes new experiences. It'll be an opportunity to encounter math homework. Given the complexity and the security implications, I recommend transferring the equations directly into Sam node. I have them on an optical storage disk for you. I'll see if I have time. Thank you, Pathfinder. Please thank Sam as well. I mean, you're wanting me to hook up a literal <laughs> thumb drive into it. Please don't have a virus. I I scanned it. Was that not my short? Standard next level turning video physical damage to base exposed cabling causing power fluctuations. Like, do I need to repair it though? Or is that good enough that I scanned it and was like, hmm, there's a short. Wow. Easy quest for me. Awful quest for that guy. I'm just going to go around, find all the problem, and be like, yep, it's your problem now. Are you? Pardon the dust while we set everything up. Uh... Have you heard anything about the cat? Unfortunately, yes. 
Now, that's a species we won't be inviting here anytime soon. <laughs> I'd hoped our encounters would be peaceful, but I suppose that was too much to ask. Hmm. What goes on here? The Cultural Center is a place where new races we've met can visit and exchange ideas. They can learn more about the Milky Way species, while we foster an air of cooperation and understanding. We're just getting everything ready. Hopefully, it won't be long before we have our first visitors. That'll be exciting. How did you get this job? I was a sociologist in the Milky Way. Hmm. While there were plenty of cultures to study, the books on them had all been written. There was nothing new I could add. So, when I heard about the initiative, I signed up right away. The idea of meeting new people, seeing how they've evolved, adapted to life's challenges, I couldn't resist. I respect that. Thanks. Of course, our hope is that you'll make friends in the cluster and send them our way. And when you have a second, check back with me on a favor I'd like to ask. Oh, do you want me to check back Scott, now with you? Welcome to the Cultural Exchange Center. Pathfinder, do you have a moment? We, uh... Yeah, apparently it's that quick. You. Explain me? Our new VI over there is meant to describe the role of our Pathfinders, but it just lost all its settings in a crash. If you could fix them, that would really help us out. Just talk to the VI, and it'll do the rest. Okay. Sure. Thanks. Of course. Hello there, neighbor. I'm Jean Garson, the founder of the Andromeda Initiative. I thought you might like to hear more about our plan. Uh, yes. Okay. Great. If you're seeing this, it means our Pathfinders have done their job and made new friends in the galaxy. Mm. Welcome to the Nexus. But I want to put your mind at ease. Seeing our arcs arrive in your neighborhood probably raised some concerns. I'm happy to address them. Why did you leave the Milky Way? <laughs> I get that question a lot. Many of us have a deep curiosity that needs to know what else is out there. Our own Milky Way is just one tiny speck in a universe full of mystery. And speaking for myself, the thought of exploring those mysteries in Andromeda was a call to adventure I could not resist. That's fair. What are you planning to do in this galaxy? Great question. I'd be worried about that too. I can assure you. We have no hostile intentions whatsoever. We're pilgrims who simply want to live in peace. We're eager to learn about new cultures, new ideas, and share our own with you. But we understand trust needs to be earned, no matter what galaxy you're in. And the initiative looks forward to doing just that. Hmm. Thank you for taking the time to listen. On behalf of my fellow Milky Way travelers, we couldn't be more excited about what the future holds for all of us. Don't hesitate to speak with one of Did I do my job? Hello again. Thanks. I have no idea if I finished that quest or not, because I'm not following it. Oh, uh, let's see. I'll just follow it for a second. Oh. That wasn't the Pathfinder V. Oh, no. It was the wrong VI. Whoops. Uh -oh. First, select your preferred voice and appearance, male or female. Male. Male, please. Variable Z. Which aspect of the Pathfinder's role should be highlighted? Exploration and discovery or first contact with new species? New species. Oh, let's go with exploration. I'm a Pathfinder. Let's go with exploration and discovery. Team. Go with the Pathfinder's team. Variable set. Finally, should I provide career advice to future Pathfinders or an honor to the former Pathfinders? Hmm. Career advice. I want you to give career advice. Setup complete. Would you like to keep these settings? 
It all sounds good to me. Thank you for choosing this Pathfinder information to the app. Implementing changes. There you go. Complete. Okay, so that quest is done. So now I need broken wires one. Whoop. Oh, I was supposed to be in here. Okay. Oh, is it your computer or something? Ha! Damage equipment. All right, off to operations now. Excuse me, coming through. And off we go. As sleepers wake from stasis, the initiative urgently requires blood, tissue, and DNA donations. Be a medic, and you think you may be eligible. This is Agent M. I'm sorry, man. Is this going to be the broken computer? Like the obvious broken computer? An animal did this? Affirmative. I am able to track it. Animal. What kind of animal? We're on a space station. A violent illness related to the human treatment of the Muslim welfare. How many times have I told you this story? Three hundred and forty three. Wait, what you be keeping count? <laughs> Rusha, that's not funny. Pathfinder. I believe you found the culprit responsible for the power shortages. Oh, whoa. Capture it. Alert Professor Herrick to come secure it. Done. Why would I kill it? That seems ruthless. Drac, do you want to talk to me? Ryder, can you believe this place? Yes. One space station slightly dented? You should have seen it a year ago. It was more than just dented. Anyway, thanks for bringing me on. Tan can't kick me off the station now, and it's been nice seeing my granddaughter again. You really did miss her while you were gone, huh? I really did. Cash can handle herself just fine, but it's still good to be nearby, just in case. Hmm. Superintendent Maghorn, I have some reports here that... <laughs> oh, stop. Good job on the outpost. Maybe Addison will no like... No problem. It. What do you mean? She's been pretty upset about not having an initiative outpost established yet. Understandable, if you ask me. I'm just glad she's got work to focus on now. Oh, okay, done for now. <laughs> Good luck out there. I always love to talk to people when it seems... Like, they're really going to give you a, a prompt or an option or something, and then it's like, oh, I've got nothing to talk to you about. Uh, yeah, but a lot of this is... Upstairs? Trying to scratch off some of these smaller little side quests here. Please address concerns first with Director Addison. One must obey protocol. That camera angle. Okay. God damn. You've shaken things up, Pathfinder. No problem. My department actually has colonial affairs to direct. And you have new tools to help grow the initiative. AVP, ready for spending. Sam said there was new functionality to discuss. It's how the initiative was designed to support the Pathfinder. 
You and your team are out there making Andromeda viable. That empowers all of us. Hit a threshold. A new cryo group can be brought out. Want more focus on research, like on Prodromos? That's your call. Brecker will introduce the interface and handle minutia. All you need to do is decide what life in Andromeda means. No pressure. Yeah. Thanks. Hello, Pathfinder. I am Cryo Deployment Administrator Vladimir Brecker, C63 Galati. Vladimir. Your first task is to decide irrevocably the course of every life in the initiative. Whoa, that seems like too much. Yes, of course. But now you respect what we are doing. Andromeda viability and nexus thresholds are your tools, your reward, and our future. How can I help? Hmm. So I decide what groups to wake up. Won't everyone be out eventually? Absolutely. But there's an order to things, a lines of support. You can't deploy an omelet without first deploying eggs. And eggs won't get you steak. Except it's people and how all our lives begin. Hmm. How are you measuring thresholds? It's based on resource estimates and the general stability, a metric of acceptable scope and risk. The more you achieve, the greater capacity we can accommodate, the more the initiative can do for you. Simplest explanation? The more you do, the more room we have to grow. That yeah, makes sense. What's the rundown on AVP? Much of the preparation in the Milky Way was determining how to measure success. Thresholds are about capacity, but this is about cost, what we can actually afford to support. Points aren't the most elegant system, but it makes it clear. The more you earn, the more we can deploy. All right, Brecca. Where do I start? The interface is active and will respond only to a Pathfinder. It's ready for your first selection. You may Ugh. begin shaping the initiative at your leisure. At my leisure. I love that. Oh, I have to talk to you to do this? We await your first application of AVP, Pathfinder. Just access the interface. Oh, gosh. Across the Milky Way, have brought their XP to Tromeda, including advanced combat training and one of their survival skills. Trade is the lifeblood of civilization. These talented merchants and entrepreneurs can use their connections to acquire rare items. Griffin. Okay. Uh, planners lay infrastructure for a robust financial system that will benefit the outposts. Improve price when buying and selling items. Ooh. Increase inventory capacity. I would do it. Collect now. 44. Oh my goodness. That's quite the. Receive drop of consumable supplies. Huh. I gained some perks. <laughs> I don't know if that was worth it, especially since this is 44 minutes, but uh, thanks. Okay, uh... Okay, so there's... Gotta work on that viability. What I need to do... Scan... Planets, that's fine. I can do that. Wildlife. Yeah, I can't do much with that here. Wait for the next interview slot. That one I do need to do while we're here. There's this, and then I gotta pick up a monkey, and then we'll be uh, back out again. Oh. Okay. You. Pathfinder, AVP leveling continues as per your directions, and of course, the interface remains accessible for any future adjustments. Sweet protocol and process. Now we're living. 
What's your take on the state of the initiative? Please consult the AVP interface. It has a thorough breakdown of your progress. And your personal opinion? Your progress thrills me. Make my job obsolete, Pathfinder. I dare you. <laughs> Why'd you join the initiative? I was a teacher. A good life. I could see the positives and negatives right through to the end. You did the math and it said, come to Andromeda? <laughs> no. I just didn't like being able to see the end. Here, I don't have a clue what tomorrow will bring. Feels more like living. Hmm. Each time the next level's up, you can awaken a new group of settlers from cryosleep. Got it. I need that. Good afternoon, Pathfinder. Or morning. I can keep time according to any of the worlds we've detected. Director Addison finds it annoying. <laughs> I have a specific person I want brought out of cryo. Name and designation if available. That's it? You'll just do it? Nowhere in my job description does it say, argue with the Pathfinder. That said, I record all interactions. If something you ask for causes trouble, there will be no doubt that you're responsible. I heard that the chief engineer on EOS went back into cryo. There have been a few such requests. The first few months in Helios were disheartening. Now the Prodromos is on track. I want her redeployed. Chief Engineer Grace Leto, designation E-97 Durango. Deployment will begin shortly. Is there anything else, Pathfinder? Yes. I have a specific person I want brought out of cryo. Name and designation if available. Let's keep this between us. Here's the info. Deployment will begin shortly. Is there anything else, Pathfinder? Why do some colonists have a number letter designation? All initiative members do. In the CV file somewhere, anyway. It isn't relevant when everyone is doing everything. I suppose it's like... Uh, caring about a middle name. Do you not know yours? I wasn't aware I had one. Hmm. You were in select company, even before you were made Pathfinder. Scott Ryder Pathfinder. Specialist designation, A04 Malapa. Hmm. Something interesting? An A and low odds. Hmm. Someone's an early adopter. Hooray? Another time. Pathfinder. Hmm. So all we got to do now is uh, go pick up our monkey. Oh, and talk to people as a bump into them. Maybe you can clear this up. Maybe. How can I help? My friend Jory was on EOS the first go round, barely survived. Now they want him to go back. Yes, they do. They're saying the conditions are improved, that that it's safe now, is it? Oh. Well, I mean, it's still dangerous, but it's a lot better. We'll be dealing with threats on EOS for a while. If you're still recovering from your experiences, best stay on Nexus. You see, Lana? I told you. Thank you, Pathfinder. Uh, I'll do that. I don't know if that was a good or bad thing, but you're welcome. Go get our monkey after an investigation by the human for reasons. This is Asian Ash. Good morning. Oh, hello, Pathfinder. Here we are, one young pie jack. Ready to see Andromeda, huh? Sam, can you send a note to Kesh? Make sure our new friend gets delivered to the Tempest. Acknowledged. Oh, wait, I lied. There's, uh, one more 
quest that I should have here. I forgot I need to run those equations. Hold on. Mini backtrack here. I'm trying to keep track of all these quests, but there's so many of them. Everybody I talk to is like, Pathfinder, can you uh can you do something? Oh, Pathfinder! What <laughs> what a convenient timing. I just so happen to have a small trivial quest for you to do. It's you. Angry woman. This is probably a side quest. You, Pathfinder. I have a word or two for you. Is there a problem? Your father is my problem. He's everyone's problem. He's dead. We're all paying for Alec Ryder's ego. He preyed on Jean Garson's trusting nature and bulldozed us to this godforsaken place. Now she's dead and will all soon follow. Hey, my dad died for this dream. He was trying to fix things for all of us. Some dream. He fixed us all right. Go to hell, Pathfinder. Wow. Not a side quest. Just a weird light. And boop. Welcome back, Scott. Dr. Arbordana at the tech lab sent some equations for you to solve. I'm ready. Transferring them now. Have fun. Hey, what the? Sam! Remittance code detected. Please stand by. Sam? I knew it. Is there anything I can do? Sam? Is that another malfunction or. Sam, you trying to show me something? Okay, I think I got it. Sam, talk to me! Hello, Pathfinder. Please initialize the console to restore normal operations. Sam, what happened? The equations contained a Trojan horse program, a virus, specifically targeted to sever our connection and render me helpless. Reconnecting would be impossible. How do you feel? Are you okay? I cannot feel pain. However, I would avoid repeating the experience, which is the purpose of pain in organic life. Unlock the door. Let's head to the tech lab and see what Dr. Aradana has to say. Hmm. Hmm. I totally called that. Just plug it in a random USB. like some people never learn. It's like that strange time when downloading stuff, you were never sure if you were getting what you actually uh, were intending to download. That's when you just learn to not do it. It's dangerous. Oh, this lady is going to get screwed. You're done, lady. Get over here. Stop walking. No, no. You stop. Welcome, Pathfinder. Did Sam solve the equations I sent? Solve them? They almost brought down Sam Node. The equations contained a virus designed to target artificial intelligence. You think I... Never... I abhor violence against any life, organic or synthetic. Hmm. Then how did the virus find its way into your equations? Perhaps my files were altered or replaced. But why? Hmm. I've seen a lot of down with AI sentiment lately. Graffiti. Complaints to ten. Perhaps someone took the next step. Why would anyone hate artificial intelligence? Synthetic life has different needs and motivations. It can be mysterious and powerful. Many fear what is not understood. Everything's uncertain. Maybe they just want to feel safer. Attacking Sam is bold, though. I wonder if there have been similar incidents. 
The Yak kiosk was busted this morning. I can look around. Oh, I can do that. Figure out who the doofus was. stuff. I hacked the Vena as a sock puppet. So, our virus set you free. Hope you're doing better without that AI jammed in your head. You sent that virus to free me from Sam? Not just me. Our movement. And we couldn't let you suffer with that thing in your brain. Pathfinder, it's possible they don't realize their virus failed. Pretending that it worked might win their trust. Hello? The disconnect was very sudden. I'm grateful, just woozy. It'll pass. See, this is what our movement's all about stopping. Knight says human AI merges as a threat to all life. She'd know, trust me. Oh, Knight's our founder. The virus wouldn't exist without her. I should thank Knight in person. I'll ask her. She might even give you a tour of our sanctuary. Great, thanks. Can't promise anything, but watch your email. Bye. A whole movement of AI hating hackers with a leader called Knight. She and her followers you know seem to have experience with AI 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 If they attack you, to be they're capable of anything. I'll check my email. We need to find them. So, gotta wait for that email. Perfect. Let's go visit our monkey. But hold on, before we forget, let's get her. I have twelve points. Holy moly! Definitely go with some auto level up. I'm not gonna worry about. Scootling through everybody. Oh, Lordy. I'll take that. Okay. Let's get our assault rifles going here. Of gunner unlocked. Ooh. Oh, yours. Boop, boop, boop. Yes, I'd like to board the Tempest. It's time we go back to space. Here, should have stayed home. No. Actually, that being said, I don't even know if I'd go on this adventure. I feel like I'd be too. Vetra to track down prosthetic gel and those other items we discussed. So we have a stowaway. You mean PB? She's decided to set up in one of the escape pods. Yes. You don't need a psychologist to tell you that one's got commitment issues. So, how did a sorry doctor end up on the human arc? Specialist in alien anatomy, remember? That includes humans. Also, Harry insisted. Maybe he always intended to switch jobs. Hmm. How long have you and Harry been friends? I remember when he didn't complain about arthritis. We met at a medical convention on the Citadel. 
He was moderating a panel on neurosurgery in low gravity environments. His name card was crooked, but he was so damn confident, I knew we'd be friends. I need to talk to you about something private. Of course. That's what I'm here for. When Dad died, he blocked off parts of Sam's memory, things he didn't want me to see. Or he thought you weren't ready for. Maybe. I found this... trigger? It unlocked a... memory fragment of Dad on the Citadel, from when the Alliance rejected his ideas about AI, and he found out Mom's illness was terminal. Why do you think your father chose this specific memory? Who knows? Dad's always been one for secrets. But he's sharing them with you now. That's something. How do you think the crew is holding up? I'm happy to share what I can without violating patient confidentiality. Anyone in particular? I sort them in their files and my brain by species. Why do you sort them that way? Just easier for me to see patterns in behavior. Is Drac good? That old bastard's always good. I've never wow. met anyone who can be so stubborn and so appreciative. Could you look out for him, Ryder? Don't worry, Lexi. I'll keep an eye on him. Thank you. And maybe don't mention I asked? Sure. How's our Solarian? He's quite the gossip. Tight-lipped about himself, though. Tell me about Vetra. Vetra's used to having someone depend on her. I think that's why she's so resourceful and likes providing for other people. That being said, I think she could use a little me time. Is PB all right? She's avoiding me. Probably thinks I'll poke her with a needle if she gets too close. To be fair, you're always giving me shots. Not in the hallway. Fair. Thanks for the insight. Go back to crew morale. How do you think the crew is holding up? I'm happy to share what I can without violating patient confidentiality. Anyone in particular? I sort them in their files and my brain by species. How do you think the human crew members are handling things? There's a lot of them. Yeah, that kind of is. How's Liam? A handful. Every time I patch him up, he breaks something new. Liam's we can't lose attitude is commendable. But I worry how he'll react when something does go wrong. Fair. Suvi okay? Suvi's strong sense of faith keeps her grounded. I'm not spiritual, but there's a beauty in how her mind rationalizes religion and science. Gil? Gil likes to use humor as a defensive technique. He'd rather bury himself in the nomad than tackle emotions head on. How's Cora doing? She's processing. Your father was her mentor. She expected to follow in his footsteps, but he gave the role of Pathfinder to you. Just because she trusts his judgment doesn't mean she's not confused or hurt. Thanks for the insight. How did you get into medicine? My mom was a dancer on Omega. Dad was a bouncer. I'd patch him up after busy nights, discovered I had steady hands. They put every credit they earned into my education. Are they here in Helios? No. Both died in a turf war. Hmm. Made leaving the Milky Way behind easier. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Ryder, you meet Spender yet? Colonial Affairs, the ass in Assistant Director. Got no idea why Addison keeps him around. Spender lied to the Krogan during the uprising, and he's headed out for cash ever since. He's up to something. I just can't prove it. We should pay him a visit on the Nexus. Why did the Krogan leave the Nexus? The Nexus got us Krogan to stop the mutiny. In return, we were supposed to get a say in station business. Spender, Addison's assistant, lied about the deal, and Tan came down hard too hard so we left cash is alone on that station now you think someone might try to hurt cash oh, more like she airlocks spender 
Or he tries to stab her in the back, and then she airlocks him. Dan wouldn't listen to me when I told him Spender had a part in the mutiny. I had no proof. So what's my part in this? Things need to get sorted out, and my clan needs to get back on station, without Spender messing things up. The way I see it, you're probably the best one for that job. I'd like to know more about you. Fire away. Tell me more about the Krogan colony. My clan's there. We also got some scouts looking for any unclaimed territory to grab up. We've got a decent setup going. Self-sustainable. It works. Even some farming. Farming? Krogan farm? Food's food. Just because we can eat anything doesn't mean we gotta settle for scraps. I'm pretty fond of cork grow roots myself. Takes a while to chew through those. But let me guess, it makes you stronger to do that. How did you and Vetra meet? Huh, that's right. Your father brought you into the project pretty late, didn't he? Must have been a pretty steep learning curve since they thawed you out. You could say that. You make do with what you get. Anyway, I met Vetra back when we were building the Nexus. She swiped supplies I was trying to get for cash right under my nose. I tried to intimidate her into turning them over to me, and let me tell you, that Turian takes shit from no one. She really has a way of getting things done. She sure does. But here's the best part. She waited until I saw her again in Kesh's office, no less, to tell me she'd been working for Kesh all along. Hmm. They're both still laughing at me over that. So about all this combat experience you have, I'd love some details. Ha! The list will be shorter if you ask me what experience I don't have. I've been doing this for a long time now, centuries, shit, well over a thousand years. Don't even know how I'm still alive, to be honest. Skill? You need luck to be yeah. a mark. Skill, sure, but a whole lot of luck. And a really hard head. <laughs> Did Lexi brief you on Sam and squad connectivity yet? Yeah. You want to hook that thing up to my comm, sure, but that's where it stops. Putting an AI in your head giving it access to everything like that, it's begging for trouble. Why do you say that? I've seen what bots can do when they turn on their creators. Huh. Been in some of those fights, there's a reason that kind of research was outlawed. Yeah, I was dismissed from the Alliance when news of what my dad was researching got out. No shit. Ruined the writer name, I'll bet. Almost. Sam is part of what makes someone a Pathfinder. You're just gonna have to deal with that. So long as it's not in my head and it ain't messing with my body. I mean, that's fair. I could respect that. What's it like to have Kesh as a granddaughter? Kesh is my Rushan, child of my blood. Raised her myself. Damn proud of her, too. She did good, even with me for a granddad. She's honest. Definitely blunt. She had to take after me in some ways, I guess. Got any stories or advice to share? Does a pie jack scratch its butt? <laughs> Anything about the cat? Or combat in general? Well, common cat are pretty straightforward. Hit them hard enough, they die like anything else. That was the best combat advice I think I'll ever get. <laughs> Tell me more about fighting cat. Wraiths are sneaky little shits like the ghost up behind you when you least expect it. Just listen for them. They tend to give themselves away right before coming at you. Break through their head plates, then a headshot should do the trick. Okay, more combat. Tell me more about fighting Cat. Destined or annoying, quick. Got some crazy mist that hides them from view, their friends too. Take a Destin down. And that mist goes away, makes them a prime target, if you ask me. Perfect for grenade practice. Tell me more about fighting Cat. There's just something wrong about the Cat. <laughs> the absolute single-mindedness. All right, that's good. We can talk more later. Sure. 
Hey, one last thing. Yeah? Is everyone a kid to you? Ha, <laughs> when you get to be my age, yeah, pretty much. That's fair. Actually, before I uh, go that way, I should. Here's our monkey, but first, I forgot to talk to the crew members up here. Everybody's got new stuff going on. My data pack. I saw pictures of the vault. Astounding how big it is. And how much of it didn't you see? What if it's way bigger? What's all that space for? <laughs> parties. Wild remnant parties. What else would you use it for? Well, that's a thought. You don't really think they... Oh, joking. I see. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> what do you know about the Scourge? We established that it's artificial. Someone puts it there. Thanks. Or they did something that caused its creation. We don't know why. That's still a mystery. What do you know about the Remnant's terraforming network? From what I can tell, the vault is designed to adjust almost everything about a planet. Climate, pH of the soil, atmosphere composition. There's even evidence that it can propagate life. If we can figure out how to control the vaults, we could turn these worlds into perfect habitats. I take you work closely with the next science team? I try to keep in contact with them. We discuss anything and everything we discover out here. After all, many brains are better than one. And Dr. Aridana is worth two or three at least. I work best when I have other people to bounce ideas off of. That's fair. When did you start believing in a god? My parents were both scientists. My home was ruled by rationality. So when I became a teenager, let's just say that while other kids found Batarian music, I found God. But your work as a scientist? Convinced me even more. Especially when I got into molecular biology, physics. The patterns I kept seeing over and over again. They were like an artist's watermarks. God, to me, is an artist. An inventor. Not hmm. someone checking to see if I brush my teeth. That's fair. I should get back to things. Sounds good. But maybe God is checking in to see if you uh, brush your teeth. Ooh, did I get my email yet? Mr. Rios to Ryder, Pathfinder, I could use your help with something Hainsley's working on. I don't fully understand, so I'll let her explain it. she brief you when you get here. Okay. Hey, you're interested. Uh, attachment Krogan, virility and aggression. Ryder, attached is my Krogan thesis that I mentioned to you. I know only 500 pages, but I wasn't allowed to go over. If you get through it, I wrote a longer dissertation for the Citadel Journal of Medicine around 1,400 pages. That's much more insightful and includes mating diagrams. Wow. Uh, dear Ryder, I'm so glad for our chat earlier. I've had to defend what I believe so often, and I have to admit I'm a little tired of it. Whenever I meet someone who feels the same or just understands, I really appreciate it. So, thank you. Ugh, derived from Phoebe the peeved. Your doctor's one of the nosiest Asari I've ever met, and that's saying a lot. She needs to take it down four or five notches, or I won't be long for this show. Which would be too bad, I think. Ugh, never mind. For your interview. Hello, Ryder. Word is you had a successful mission on Eos. Well done. Want to come and talk about it on camera? Which I already did, unless that's the indication. Hello, oh, it's Neil. a new one. Good. When are you cleaning up that repair on the sensor console? I'm not. It's a redesign. A redesign? Without a trained crew? I'm trained and it's working great. Don't be so uptight. Everything okay? Oh, fine. Fine. Don't worry about it. I feel like I should be worried about what it. What can I do for you? What do you think of the rest of the crew? Well, I can't talk about Suvi. She's sitting right there. I'm not listening. You can say whatever you like. Oh, no. I'm not falling for that again. <laughs> She's clearly listening when they say comments like that. You know, I haven't actually met many Solarians. Careful. Depending who you ask, we're conniving spies, genius researchers, or meddling scientists. Yep. We have to pack a lot of living into 40-odd years. Everything gets accelerated. Lines blur. I just hope we don't repeat our old mistakes out here. If you help to build the Tempest, you must know plenty about her. Just about everything. By memory. It was quite the effort to get her working. 
The initiative needed absolutely up-to-date technology, hmm. which we all had to coordinate, and some of it was rather tricky to acquire. Acquire? Buy. Legally and above board, of course. <clears throat> yes. Sadly, the other Pathfinder vessels were lost when the Scourge hit the Nexus. The Tempest is truly unique. I couldn't help overhearing you and Gil. It sounded pretty heated. He likes redesigning things, but the ship was built this way for a reason. I wish Gil would respect that. It's nothing to concern yourself about, really. Tell me something else about the ship. Her engine's based on the Ark's Odyssey Drive, which got us through dark space. The core takes the static electricity it generates and stores it in capacitors. We basically make our own power supply. It took Serena and Tion weeks to get it working on a smaller ship. And a few electrical shocks. Tell me something else about the ship. Our aerospace engineer was Tian Ada Vasmore, a Quarian fellow, and absolutely fearless. Once, some Omega scrap dealer pulled the we don't sell to Quarians nonsense. Tion found a workaround. What did he do? He glued a memory foam to his environmental suit, then, during the negotiations, leaned against the drive core he wanted, very casual. It made a perfect mold of the components, and the scrap dealer was none the wiser. Huh. Tell me something else about the ship. The glass on board? It's actually a clear oxide and nanofiber compound. It bends rather than shattering. How tough is it? We're only an arm's length away from hard vacuum. Our testing involved three drunk Krogan with sledgehammers and a C-Sec battering ram. It's sturdy. <laughs> I didn't answer the question, just saying it's sturdy. Tell me something else about the ship. O'Connell, our systems designer, was running a power distribution model, how power moves through the ship. But he forgot to lock his terminal, and we, um, <laughs> added a few embellishments. For two days, poor O'Connell was convinced that turning on all the bathroom lights would overload the engine core. Hmm. Okay. Say goodbye. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. Oh wait, I don't keep just hounding the poor dude. Tell me something else. Tell me something else. Tell me something else. Pie Jack. Oops. Looks like our Pie Jack friend got out of his cage. He'll be fine. Won't he? The exercise will probably do him good. Probably. Report from the Nexus. Population's growing as people wake up. Lots of hopefuls waiting for a home. Bradley will have all the help he can take. They'll be starting crops soon. Can't tell if they have enough water or too much. I grew up on a little cargo freighter. Only saw gardens and vids, but I always loved them. I daydreamed about planting a big rose garden when we Got here and still imagine it sometimes. Roses in Helios. So there's a heart soft as rose petals under that uniform. I got plenty under here, pal. Does the big bad Pathfinder have a soft spot too? I might. For certain someone's. Good to know. We've all got our something. Do we? I didn't for a while. After I left the Asari Commandos, well... I didn't leave. My mentor, Nasira, said I should go. Why? The initiative would suit you better, was all she said. Being a huntress suited me fine, but she insisted. Hmm. Wow. You fight side by side and then she gives you the brush off? It hurt. One big kick out of the nest. Still, that's familiar. When your biotics are honed into Huntress-grade weapons, people can be weird about it. The initiative seemed better. Just didn't see how I'd fit into their brave new galaxy. I never fit anywhere before. Then I met some jerk named Ryder. Talked about traveling to Andromeda like he was teaching you how to see it. What part of that vision made you want to take the plunge? A civilization where everyone had a place, even AI or an overpowered human biotic. Your father said, I get being different. Now imagine being welcome and making others like you welcome too. When I was 13, I could warp a steel girder. He made me wonder, 
What if someone had told me, that's okay? He gave you a dream to work toward. He was good at that. Who doesn't want to belong? Especially somewhere like the Initiative. So I gave the Initiative my all. Kept thinking of the niche I wanted. My rose garden. I thought I knew what I was going to be. This is about not taking over as Pathfinder? Didn't think it would still sting. Nasira, your mm. father, even my parents. They leave, I'm left without answers. Nowhere to stand. I get that. We've all had a lot of disappointments lately. You're doing well. For having no training, being your second isn't so bad. And if that remnant tech pays off, maybe someday I'll have roses too. Yeah, you'll get your roses, don't you worry. Maybe. Alright, got a few more people to chat with and see how their life's going. Then we'll be on to the scanning planets, the action, exploration y stuff. Don't think there's anything on. That's just the loadout. Um, where'd she go? She should be there, or she was there. Hmm. My room? Oh, let's check the crew info board, see what's going on. Uh, nope. Nothing in there. There we go. Hello. Terraforming Atmo processors, gravity wells, light destroying murder bubbles. Yeah. We really had no idea what Helios was about, did we? <laughs> if we knew what it was all about, it wouldn't be an adventure. It would just be moving. And everyone hates moving. Just the packing alone? Ugh. <laughs> Point taken. I'm just saying. I really hope you have a plan, Ryder. Yeah. <laughs> Plans are useless. We wing it. That's like a bad said, pun. We had no idea what Helios was really like. What good's a plan? Adapting to problems as they come up. I like that. Good. Since you're probably going to have front row seats to me winging it. Looking forward to the show. Yep. How did you hear of the Andromeda Initiative? Short answer, Cash. She was looking for some experimental ship mods, and I knew how to track them down. I thought it was a one-time deal, but she came back. Once, twice. Eventually, I figured out something was going on. Something big, with creds behind it. I asked, and she told me about the Initiative. New galaxy, new home. Couldn't pass that up. Yo, oh, jeez. Not gonna ask that question. <laughs> You talked about your back channels. What did you mean? We brought a lot from home. Some of it marked initiative, some of it in personal caches. Most things you want, someone's got. You just have to figure out who and what they're willing to take in exchange. <laughs> <laughs> that just sounds like you're taking advantage of people. Is it? I get people what they want, and they do want, or they wouldn't pay. You were on the Nexus when the revolt happened? When you promise people golden worlds and all they get are wastelands and a death cloud, they riot. Some wanted to go home, some demanded answers, and a couple just wanted to stir shit up. And you? Some days I wondered if the exiles had a point. Maybe we were conned into coming here. But why would the initiative go to all this trouble just to screw us over? The thing about conning people, you always know something they don't, and that's why the con works. And if I'm going to pick a side, I'm picking the liars. Hmm. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Yes, yes I do. Why are you sitting on this and not your couch of garbage? Um. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> 
Prodromos. There you go. Prodromos. <laughs> Sounds good, doesn't it? We started Pathfinder. A new life. That is goddamn brilliant. Holy moly, that took you forever to start talking. Oh, I love this one. That is just straight blunt. I'm interested in you. Not like, so, anyone important in your life? Or did you bring a mage or anything? Just, I'm interested. <laughs> we barely covered how you joined. Tell me something about yourself. All right. I was a bad student. Piss poor cop. Great responder. Had a good life. But it all been done. I wasn't looking to start over. I wanted to start big. Tell me about your family. I missed the hell out of them. Some nights you just cry, right? That's the thing everyone does. Mom, Joel, Dad, Calvin, both lawyers. Met on the Citadel, settled on Earth. No brothers or sisters. That might have been too much to leave. It was traditional. How about you? Hmm. <laughs> not traditional. Life with my family was not typical on a number of fronts. You may do, though, right? Family has to. I know mine did. I said goodbye to my mom and dad and got on a ship to Andromeda. That's fair. Just like, peace out, homies. You were a cop then, crisis response? Couldn't have been long in either. Didn't have the patience for law, so I figured enforcement. Dad knew it didn't fit before I did. But it got me into hustle. They mostly take vets and retired service. Best years of my life. Hmm. Yeah, it kind of does seem cliche. An impatient rookie frustrated by procedure? That's overdone. I know, right? I wanted new, and I got it. And that led me here. Peace out. We'll talk later. I know it. Still there. Maybe I won't talk to you later. Took forever for you to talk the first time. See, look, there's this dinky couch he's not sitting on. Okay, I'm done down here. Oop, there we go. Hello, Gil. Long time no chat. <laughs> What's up? How tough was it on the Nexus all those months? Have you ever eaten overcooked space cow tongue? Hmm. No? Can't say I have. Well, let me tell you, it's tough. I believe it. Wondering if you're going to die from a critical malfunction, or maybe starvation. Imagining which would be worse. But hey, you could always take a break from the fear and boredom to dwell on being a part of the biggest failure in galactic history. Maybe even participate in a revolt. What was your take on that? I didn't place any bets, if that's what you're asking. Truth is, I don't think anyone made out particularly well. Whatever side you're on, you die a little when your brother, your teammate, becomes an enemy. We traveled all this way, all hope and wonder, and we end up fighting with each other over scraps. It's sad. What's your social circle like? I'm good for a laugh, so I know lots of people, but I don't let too many in. My one true friend is stationed on the Nexus. She's the only piece of the Milky Way I brought with me. Hmm. The more you and I get to know each other, the more you'll probably hear about her. I hear we have you to thank for getting the Tempest space ready so quickly. Vetra brings her impossible feats to me. I was itching to get this particular call. Capital R, ready. Don't tell her, but the truth is, I fudge reports to come in early, then bust ass in secret to make up for it. Expands the Gil legend. Plus, I convey calm and assurance, and the whole team relaxes, which helps them do their jobs better. Seems like we have a good group here. Well, Vetra and Suvi are my girls. Get along well. Lots of mutual respect. PB's a real spark plug. I like her, but she's exhausting. And Drax, my kind of guy. Brash. Takes no shit. As far as your Hyperion peeps go, Doc's kind of nosy. Liam's good for a laugh or two. Cora, she's a bit by the book for me. By the book keeps us alive. Hey, variety's the spice of life, right? Different strokes makes for healthy debate. What about Callow? He's a pilot. Which means... He flies the ship. <laughs> We're leaving it at that, then? Does a Pathfinder know what to do with a dead end? <laughs> He's a pilot, meaning... 
he flies the ship. Thank you? I mean, thanks? Very blunt. I'm talking to you, Gil. Anytime. I mean, he's not wrong. It is, the, the, it is what pilots do. And... All right. Pretty sure I chatted with everyone I could find easily. So, now let's get on to stuff. We've got planets to scan. Stuff to start doing. I'm picking up something. Yeah, we're percussion 16%. All right, well, let's start in the center and work our way. No, just anomalies detected over that way. We'll start here. I'm just going to explore it all, so might as well just uh, let's start doing stuff. We'll skip through the travel. We don't need to see that. Anomaly on sensors. Boop, 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 boop. Deploying probe. Anomaly found. A volcano. To volcano. So my progression's thirty three percent. Is there that's it? Is there more to do with that active volcano or no? Hmm. Okay. Anomaly detected. So let's head here. And we'll skip through the traveling. You watch a nice little flying effect. It's we don't need it. I'm picking up something. Mm -hmm. Probes launched. Detecting what's left of a ship. Cool ship wreckage. Shunt crystals presser. Anything else? Nope. Done with that planet. I'm picking up something. Now this one would be next. Gong Zen. Well, there's nothing to go. Holy storm. Okay. Nothing going on with that one. Last planet here. And then we'll search for that anomaly and see what's going on. Nothing? Okay. Nothing there. I'm picking up something. Probe away. Anomaly found. Element zero. There we go, progression, 100%. Beauty. Uh, I can't look at my quest, so. Let's go to Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer. I'm gonna go do some scanning there. And I'm assuming I can't fast travel here because that is a hidden, not hidden loading screen. All right, same thing. We'll start with the nice inner planet and we'll work our way out. Nothing to 
Oh, that is not what I wanted. I'm in space. Red space. Ah, uh, the good old joy of trying to get this quest done. <laughs> Scan all the planets. Some are interesting, some, some are not. But someone's gotta do it, right? We gotta, gotta get the progression on that quest and it better be something good. I know there's probably something interesting to read on these things, but eh, eh. Oh, I'll take that aluminum. It's an asteroid. The usual mineral composition of this asteroid suggests it may have origins outside the fiber system but became caught in the sun's gravity. Cool. And more here for the supplies. And questing. Ooh, that's got a storm going on. Extreme radioactivity and high velocity winds. It's poor candidate for mining, even though it's rich in resources. That's unfortunate. Do you have anything? Hey, we're getting closer. Iron and frozen nitrogen. Check out the black hole. Even if this black hole presents a risk to onboard ship systems. Huh. Remains of at least one solar system. Destroyed by the black hole's formation and gravitational pull. Caution is advised. We'll just back out because now we are 100% done. Uh, we'll head here. Whew, got a lot going on. All right. Only 12% done. Let's see if we can bump those rookie numbers up. Nothing here. It's 11. Got some iron. It's an iron nickel rich asteroid. I thought they call that a planet. I mean, it's, I, it's a thing? I don't know if I necessarily class that as a planet, but whatever makes the doctor happy. My tab key is getting a workout right now. <laughs> it's supposed to ever. Ooh, here we go. Here we go. What'd you find? A huge mineral deposit. Brilliant. Hmm. That was a helpful little planet. Better than most of them. Oh, here we go. Probe away. Satellite detected. Gain 50 Milky Way research data. Monitoring site and launched by early explorers to Elos. This mission was abandoned when the original settlement of Eos failed, but has gathered valuable data. Hmm. I wonder why they picked that one. I mean... It works, but OK, 
Come on, anomaly. Nope. It's a hydrogen methane gas giant. <laughs> Seen cat visitors. Poor planet. There we go. That one's 100%. Now, before we go to the new place, I'm actually gonna check what our... Find Spender in the Nexus, that's fine. Gotta find those arcs. Oh, I didn't visit my sibling. Shoot. Still waiting for that email. So got lots of planets to scan. Scan the wildlife. Gotta go speak to her again. Hmm. Okay, well, might as well quickly bounce back because I forgot to check on our sister, which makes me feel like a horrible person. I mean, it's one of those things I probably should have done a lot sooner, but, you know, whoops. Check out those Rider family secrets. Yes, I would like to disembark. Hello, Lady Havoc. How's it going? frivolous request what's happening here your incompetence isn't my problem just do your job ouch what do you want oh I'm enjoying my game sounds like you're having a rough day you saw that huh oh I'm sorry I snapped at you the way spender treats me everyone I'm just so angry I don't understand how he's in any position of authority he was pretty abusive towards you. Is that normal? Yes, he's horrible. Working with him is a total nightmare. Just last week, he tried to redirect some of the supplies we need to keep the stasis pods going. Why? I have no idea. But if Kesh hadn't stepped in and threatened to airlock him, it would have been a disaster. He's always like that. Making bad decisions, driving the Krogan away. Treating people like scum when no one's watching. Maybe there's something I can do? A man like that's bound to have some dirt. I wish Tan and Addison could see it. Things have gotten so bad that Kesh had to literally kick him out of engineering. How literal are we talking here? Boot to ass. Oh, it was glorious. We need him gone, but as incompetent as Spender is at his job, he's insanely good at keeping it. Kesh can tell you more. All right, I'll go talk to Kesh. Oh, say noonish. Wait, oh my gosh, I got so many quests going on. Okay, we'll start with the main one of why I was here. That wasn't weird at all. Oh, are these the protesters? Seems quiet for now. Free our families. 
What hey, up? What's going on? That's your new galaxy. Making speeches about some fresh start while your kids stay frozen. And it's all thanks to your Pathfinder. Excuse me? We've waited months for our families to come out of stasis. They should have gone to your outpost. But since you think research is so important, military personnel got bumped down the list. Like my clan, brothers. All the reassignments mean they're in ten different colony blocks now. And my mother just got caught in the middle. I founded the outpost. I didn't decide who would stay in stasis. You don't care that you've torn families apart? That's not what I said. Maybe you could still make this right. I just want mom out of stasis. That's all anyone here wants. You do stasis revivals. You can tell our leaders you're opening those pods. Today. I authorize whole colony blocks or a few emergency revivals. I can't wake dozens of random people. We don't care whose finger pushes the button. If you can't, our leaders can. And if you tell them, they will. Okay. I'll talk to the leadership about what we can do. Fourteen months of promises. It's time for some results. We tried petitioning Addison. She ignored us. Screw her. Start with Kandros. He sent those ten soldiers over there. Maybe he'll take us seriously. Tell our leaders! Wake the sleepers! Yeah. Any word? No, no new orders. Keep his safety's on, I guess. Yep. I don't feel like. Uh, don't need those. So what I can do. I highly doubt I'm gonna get those people woken up. Be like, yeah, we can't feed everyone. Just, just wake them all up. It's fine. Somebody have a quest? Oh, the quests are through, okay. Hello, medic? Oi, Pathfinder. Today has not been a good day. Well, that was a great day. Why is that? A large shipment of medical supplies intended for Padromus was intercepted by those damned exiles. Scouts confirmed they've divvied the supplies up among their own outposts. I'll see what I can do about reclaiming them. That would be great. Thanks. Maybe when you come across them assholes, you can rectify all this. I mean, I'll see what I can do for you. Pathfinder, I'm Nigel McCoy. Just got out of cryo. Welcome to Andromeda, Nigel. Thank you. It's bittersweet, though. My little brother Dash was stationed on the Nexus. I just learned he died on Eos, trying to start the settlement. Wow, I mean, that's literally brutal. You just came out of, like, your massive rest or sleep. And they're like, yep, he's dead. His sacrifice won't be forgotten. Agreed. Everything I do will be for him. I have a pendant our father wore. Dash had its match. Will you... reunite them? Of course. In his digital journal, he mentioned a spot on Eos where he'd go to think. If you could leave the pendant there. You got her. Okay. Let's do the important. Hello! Harry, what's happening with Sarah? Well, we got her out of the pod. I don't want to get your hopes up, but Sam managed to, uh, find her. You might say. I don't follow. Well, she's still in a coma. But she also has an implant like yours, and Sam managed to access it. He's made contact. That's incredible. She's okay. Vitals are steady. But I'm letting Sam take the lead on this one. They're in a coma. 
Sarah's mental processes remain intact. So, is she okay? You can ask her yourself. A moment while I establish a link with her implant. Proceed. Sarah? Can you hear me? Scott? Is that you? What's happening? Where am I? There was a problem with your stasis pod. You're in a coma on the Hyperion. Do you understand? Uh, I think so. Am I dreaming? Sam linked into your implant, but they say you're stable. You're safe and sound in the med bay. This is so weird. I hear you, but I can't feel anything. Where's Dad? Is he doing okay? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Do I tell my coma sister that? Uh, let's give her hope. He's away on a mission right now. I know he's worried about you, though. <laughs> yeah, I know, Dad. He probably said she'll live and went off to go study some new form of algae. <laughs> it wasn't like that. He cares. <laughs> How many times has he yelled at you so far? Oh, the usual. Well, when he gets back, tell him he needs to stop picking on my little brother. What's home like? Is Habitat 7 as beautiful as they promised? Ah, uh, it's even better. Just wait till you see it. It's amazing. Even better than the hype. That's fantastic. So many things could have gone wrong. And they did. Though I guess you weren't our vet. First boots on the ground. I think we can make an exception for comas. Thanks a lot. I should be there helping you guys. Well, you were never one to quit, Sarah. A little nap won't hold you back. Hell no, it won't. Tell Dad to save some for me. There's a mountain out there. It's naming. It's mine. You got it. And then... What happened? The connection was only temporary. Her condition remained stable. Sorry, it seemed better than nothing. I'll keep you posted, promise. Thanks, Harry. I mean, that would be so messed up to talk to someone in a coma. All right, so. Okay, let's go find this person. See if we can wake more people. I mean, gosh, we can only feed like 50 mouths, so let's uh, wake up a thousand people. Why not? I'm sure, it'll be fine. Probably. I see absolutely no problems. Glad to see you finally. I hear you've been busy out there. That's one word for it. If you need anything, come see me, even if it's just a vent. I need to talk to you about stasis revival and those protesters in hydroponics. I see. Maybe I should get the others for this. Protesters have seized hydroponics? They want their families out of stasis. The outpost on Eos disrupted the schedule. They're scattered across colony blocks, dozens of people. The protesters want this fixed today. The realities of our position are... We can't wake those families. We don't have the resources, and there's nowhere to put them. <laughs> uh, we do have... We only just got on our feet. Plus, it messes up the schedule again. What do you suggest? Leave the families in stasis where it's safe, and get those protesters out of hydroponics. They seem sympathetic, but so did the exiles. We can't risk another revolt. Survival is more important than family reunions. Hmm. Do you think these protests could turn violent? We're all pioneers. Even civilians are tough enough to start something. And interfering in hydroponics threatens our oxygen supply. They know that. What would you do with the protesters? I'd send in a squad and march them out. At gunpoint, if we must. If they resist, a few might land in medbay, but it's better than losing hydroponics or the nexus. 
Oh, oh man. Uh, probably protesters are ripe. We can't really feed them. Uh, we don't want another revolt, though. These people aren't the enemy. We didn't come all this way to rip families apart. We'll manage the resource squeeze somehow. Your compassion is admirable, but... Guess we're all tightening our belts. You can run a stasis override command from operations. I hope the rest will be that easy. I hope I didn't make a boo-boo there. These are all very, very tough decisions. But dang it, I've played civilizations. I usually leave my building cities without enough houses anyway, so, eh. <laughs> Nothing new there. They'll just eventually revolt, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, sending the override command. The stasis pods should start unlocking. You're really doing this? I was at the protest in hydroponics. I thought we'd just get more excuses. But we already lost a year waiting for our families. I'm glad it's time. I know exactly what you're feeling. My family has suffered too. Then you know why this matters. My mom was scared something would go wrong and she'd be awake in stasis all that time. She isn't... It doesn't work like that, but I... just want her out. So I know. Override complete. Stasis revival triggered on the Nexus. Rajas K, Griffith G, Hulkvist A, Demerchi P, Kozlov S. There. That's her. Why are you still here? Go be the face your mom wakes up to. I will. Thank you. Given new resource allocation, personnel in stasis on the Hyperion may now be required to wait longer. When it's time, you'll have a home to wake up to. I promise. Yee. Okay, done. Hey, level 10. Um. Think. Okay, well, that one's... Still waiting for the email. I do need to, um... Where's the... There. That one first. Let's go tell her what's what. Hello again. Hi. The documentary's going great. Your comments really got people talking. Director Tan loved the first broadcast. Sent a contribution for your expenses. Nice. Thanks. Hmm. Let's get to the juicy stuff. The scientists are excited about your new outpost, though there are questions about how Prodromos can survive where Sites 1 and 2 failed. Uh, there's no guarantee it will. I gave Prodromos the best start a Pathfinder could. But we can't predict everything. We just do our best. Probably not the rah-rah quotes Tan would hope for, but very genuine. Facing those risks must be stressful. How do you relax between missions? <laughs> I hit the bar hard. <laughs> uh, I spent time with my team. My crew and I take downtime together. We're a team. This is history, too, these little moments between... Shots of this remnant tech, some narration, that completes an episode. Thanks for stopping. Just love that. I just... I drink. Drink so much. Alright, let's go to EOS and place that pendant. Trying to knock out some of that smaller quest before they just ramp up and take over everything. learned from these adventure games. They're like a Hydra. Chop down one quest and you get like 15 more. And definitely when you get near the end of the game, you don't want to come back and do little quests like this. Be like, oh yeah, I'll just 
Go ahead and drop off a pendant. End of the game. It's right there, but... Need that... Need that pendant. <laughs> do, do, do. what you're saying? No? Okay. Hope I didn't interrupt anything important there. Really hoping. I hate it when they do conversations like that. And you're just eager and you jump on things and then they babble something and you're like, oh, back out. And then they don't continue what they were saying and you're like, hmm. I hope that wasn't important. Really hoping that wasn't important. <laughs> bum, 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 ba -dum, bum, bum. Oh, we're good with our uh, with our guns. Have a this shotgun, everything. Coordinating, path is calm. Why aren't you wearing a helmet? Um. Okay, let's go place that pendant. Uh, okay, that's not horrible. Oh no, mining's a thing again. Ugh. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. Yep. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. tuned the Nomad perfectly for EOS. We're outfitted best we can be. This place is a strain on our gear, but so is everywhere else. I mean, duh? Boldly going where no people have gone before. I mean, clearly, I've been on this planet before, and clearly there was locals, but for non-natural visitors. I advise caution. Remnant activity may be hostile. It is hostile. Pathfinder, another deceased colonist. If you get me their name, I'll update the records and tag the body for recovery. Where's the... Radiation levels increasing. Radiation within safe levels. Oh, gotcha. There it is. Avante, Tegan C. Radiation got to her. That is very unfortunate. Should have been more careful, though. Let's do this! Nope. Put 
myself in a hole here. Getting out of the hole. Thank goodness if everybody's watching this, I could just be like, I'm the Pathfinder. Don't judge me. Radiation levels have spiked, Pathfinder. It's the best way of getting up there. Uh, look like a good way, okay. We'll try going on foot. Grab that ledge. Almost there. Placing Pathfinder. This is the spot where Nigel McCoy wanted you to leave his pendant. Yes, it In is. In honor of his brother, Dash McCoy. He'll be happy. There's anything else. And I'm assuming that we'll get the upgrade to survive radiation better later, so I'm not gonna worry about radiation the other spots. Within acceptable limits. Life support at 100%. Radiation levels increasing. <laughs> Tough to get used to life on this rock. Too long staring at it from the Nexus and knowing we'd failed. A hard world, but you can get used to anything if you try. People want to come here, just like they wanted to come to Andromeda. Except now they'll know what they'll find. They'll find adventure and exploration. People! who are now settling here successfully, thanks to us. We've done much for the cause. Why do you keep telling me to like options for slowing the vehicle. Like, I would never do that. There's only speed. Radiation levels within acceptable limits. Life support at 100%. Yellow. Pathfinder, Darkit, Tervian. I understand I was pulled from cryo ahead of schedule. My family is grateful, but I consider it my debt. Everyone gets out eventually. That may be, but the least I can do is show you the benefit. I'm exo studies now, but in a former life, let's say I knew tactics. If I supplied the ket on this planet, I drifted in, and there's only so many gravitational paths. Here's some navs to check for anomalies. Good hunting, Pathfinder. I mean, thank you. I guess we'll do those. How far are we looking here? Oh. So 
There's one that's off planet. Okay, who wanted a word with me? Hello? Pathfinder. Jacob Mitney, research and development. My team's just getting set up here, but we've made a discovery you might want to check out. All ears. We've put together a blueprint for augmenting your armor plating. Uploading it now. If you can collect the necessary resources from around EOS, it should work. <laughs> should work? Is this a sure thing, Mitney, or just pie in the sky? I have no interest in wasting your time. This could form the basis for armor production across the initiative. Scrounge safely, Pathfinder. Thank you. I feel like that waypoint's too far out. And I don't think, I think we're uh, calling us bodies I'll kind of run into. Still waiting on the email. Okay. Let's check out doing the main one here. Return to the Tempest. There we go. Got some flying to do. Let's go. Leaving Atmo. All clear. All systems green. Glad to hear it. Anomaly on sensors. Wait, what? Arcturian friend on EOS has good instincts. Let's check it out. Significant resource value. Anomaly on sensors. Probes launched. Getting a scan. More caches. Possible cat supplies, just like Dark had suggested. Ooh, a sludge pack. All right, let's continue our journey here. Navigation. We're being steered into their ship. Just tell me what you want. 
I won't explain what you can't understand. Ryder, I have almost regained control of the ship. I need a few more seconds. I actually know a lot about the Remnant. We should compare notes. Enough. Your defiance is naive and reckless. This day marks the beginning of your greatness. Sam? I have plotted a potential course through the Scourge. Do it! Report. Enemy destroyed. Damage to aft sensors. Scourge got it? Yes. Get us out of here! It will be tight. Hello? Yes! <laughs> nice work, kid. Yeah. But who the hell was that guy? Ryder, we've got trouble down here. You need to find us a port now. Great. Where'd we end up anyway? Sensors are damaged, but I think we're at the vault's coordinates. You think? Gil, give it what you can. We're setting down. We're being contacted. We have to land. Open a comm. Tove, Jagalesto. Jagalesto. We're visitors from another galaxy. Our intentions are peaceful. Pav Naleseto. They've sent us a nav point. Set us down. I love how we speak English. Like, they're gonna know. We've traveled how far away? Yes. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's something. We need in that vault. Please, you're not really going out there on your own. We can't afford a repeat of last time. I'm the Pathfinder. First contact is on me. Most important thing ever. <laughs> no pressure. If this goes badly, if I get eaten alive, even if it's hilarious, please destroy the vids. Need me to take my shoes off? They have their goals. Mason Roa. I'm Paran Shai, governor of Aya. We are the Angara. Hello. I'm a Pathfinder with the Initiative. Yes, you crossed dark space. I've heard of your journey. Joel, I have this in hand. Ephra saw this ship come in and sent me to find out what's going on. He's a human from another galaxy. A Pathfinder. Mm. Aya is hidden, protected. What do you want? We come with a spirit of cooperation and to live in harmony. <laughs> We've heard that before. I'll inform Ephra. He'll be waiting for you in his office at the Resistance headquarters. I'll meet you there. I will accompany you through our city. Your crew will stay on your ship. Follow me.
Follow closely. Do not try to explore the city or interact with anyone. Ephra's guards will use force if necessary. Understood. Is it okay to ask you questions? I suppose. If you're the governor, why do I need to see this Ephra? He's leader of the resistance. What's that? They fight the cat and protect us. Hmm. So everybody hates the cat. Got it. Should lock it up. Come on. Unusual levels of electrostatic energy in the Angara. This is insane. It belongs in a containment cell. Containment cell. Hmm. Am I that intimidating? You're an outsider who invaded our home. We know nothing about you. I'm not here to cause trouble. Then keep moving. Oh. None of the local flora register in my data files. We've encountered an undiscovered ecosystem. Beautiful. Your city is beautiful. Thank you. You're the first outsider to see it. I'm honored. Oh, great. I'm the first outsider. What happens if Afro doesn't like me? He won't. But you need to earn his trust. Great. He's responsible for everyone's safety. I know what that's like. You're a leader. Trying to be. This is the Resistance headquarters. Ephra is waiting inside. They are bullies, but this situation is now your fault. Don't get kicked out, Moran, not because of them. But you're telling me to be weak. No, I'm telling you to be strong. Through your cunning and heart. Okay. Hey. It really is the best one in the resistance. I know. Our experience with the Ket makes us naturally distrustful of all aliens. We've had our own run-ins with the Ket. Then you really do understand. When the Archon came to Helios, he demolished our sovereign state. Took what he wanted, as if we were nothing. Now, the Ket mercilessly abduct Angara. Often, we never see our people again. Come this way. Ephra is waiting. Wait, the cat kidnap you? Steal your people? And the Resistance fights them every day. With everything we can. Is it attrition? What are they after? You should save your questions for Ephra. Kadara be damned. I won't lose fold. Ephra, this is one of the aliens from the Milky Way. A Pathfinder. Pathfinder. It's an aggressive move coming to Aya. It wasn't meant that way. I have an arc full of desperate people counting on me to find them a home before they starve. Of course, I feel for you and your people. So, Pathfinder, never mind how you even found us. Why are you here? On a hostile planet we call Eos, I explored an ancient structure, a vault and brought it back online. It stabilized that planet's environment. Remnant, recent intelligence supports that claim. If I'm right, there's a vault on Aya that's different. I need to look inside. You're right. There's a vault out there, but it was shut years ago and the entrance hidden. We can't help you. I wish I could. She's our most revered scientist and elder. She knows this vault. But now the Ket have her, and our rescue attempts failed. She's lost to us, and you.
There must be another way. How can I convince you? Can I offer help? Arrogant. I don't know you, let alone trust you. Why would I want your help? Of course. Ephra. I feel... Ephra, what this alien says is extraordinary. The Moshai would want us to be brave and not let this chance pass. Joel, you talk too much. Let me assess this alien. I'll be your eyes. I know you can spare me. Go if you want. But when he tries to kill you, be prepared to strike first. I'm Jal Amadarov. I'll be your envoy through Angaran space. Thank you for trusting me. I don't. But I can always kill you in your sleep. Good to know. That's just fantastic. I've First steps. My analysis of Aya. Shall I relay it to the Nexus? Definitely. Alrighty, guys. This is a, I would say, a nice-ish spot to wrap up, so I'm going to end stream here. I will be back tomorrow on the earlier side again, and we'll uh, see if we can gain the trust of these people or see if they kill us. You know, all a good sport. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and thanks for stopping by and watching. Bye!